All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another predictions video for E3 2022. I guess it. I guess we're just calling it Summer Game Fest, or no E3, or whatever people, I forgot what people are calling it, no, Fo 3 I don't know. Um, not E3, but E3 in my heart, because we, we're still getting a lot of conferences, you know, we, we're getting, we got Capcom coming, we still got Xbox, we got this, we got Devolver, which I'm excited about Devolver, we got a bunch of indie shows, which I enjoy a lot, um, shit, we still got Nintendo lurking, we got Square Enix maybe lurking, I don't know, they did one last year, and they did one in 2019, but, I don't know. They do their, their showcase things, though, so man, I, I would assume that means they're going to do something, right? So, around here, at least, maybe next month, who knows? Uh, Ubisoft, maybe next month? I don't know. I know EA ain't doing shit, but that's perfectly fine. Anyway, so, let's get to it. Some predictions. I separated them, because it's going to be a an hour and a half to two hour long show, so it's going to be a little hard to predict. Um, much harder than a 30, 40 minute little state of play or direct. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff here. I actually listed stuff we already know we're going to see, uh, and we're going to get to that first. So let's get straight to it. I will be doing reactions, of course, tomorrow for the Summer Game Fest kickoff thingy, the Keeley Show, as I call it. The Keeley Show! Um, so look forward to that. It's going to be, uh, I'll be maybe 15 minutes early so we could talk a little bit before. So I don't know if I'll have anybody with me, but, uh, yeah, you know, I'll be there, so... Anyway, let's get to it. The things we know we're going to see. Okay, Modern Warfare 2 already got confirmed that we will see, uh, I think, campaign gameplay, right? So we'll see probably a long, like, six, seven-minute demo. Uh, Keely did promise us more demos um, at this, which is good with me. Hey, um, so we'll probably get that, which is cool with me. Hey, I, I, I'm really enjoying Modern Warfare 2019's campaign, so I'm down to check out some Modern Warfare 2 campaign. I'm sure if I don't finish the campaign... By today, then I'm going to get some spoilers for tomorrow, but that's that's fine. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm assuming uh, America wins again. Once again. Hoorah. Anyway. Anyway, more Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Uh, Turtles, we... I'm not 100% sure if this is confirmed, but I'm, I'm like 95% sure that we're going to see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Shards of Revenge. And I'm hoping Shadow Drop. Ooh. We know it's coming in summer, and... If they did that at the show, right after the show is over, you have the whole day to play Turtles. Because, I mean, it's 2 p.m. my time and earlier for a lot of other people. So, yeah, you got two hours later, 4 p.m., whatever time it is for you, you got a whole day of playing Turtles, baby. Especially if it's on Game Pass, which, fingers crossed. If it's Game Pass, then I expect it to be at the Xbox Showcase instead. But uh, I'm going to assume it's not because, shit, I don't even care however much it is buying it the only reason why i think it's gonna get shadow dropped or it's gonna come out very soon is because limited run already put up their um you can't pre-order yet but they put up a listing for when you can you know pre-order the turtles uh physical um not that it has a time when you can pre-order but it's there so when it's time to pre-order it's there you know what i mean it's like a listing pretty much but it, it shows all the stuff the collector's edition stuff oh my god i'm gonna be spending a lot of money on this game i hope it's good anyway it's gonna be like two hours long i'm gonna spend like over 200 dollars on this fucking game <sighs> anyway uh we'll probably see gotham knights uh I'm not 100 percent thrilled about this game uh that the gameplay looked all right there was a couple of eh, moments but it looked okay i'm not i'm not like super hyped about it but uh yeah, maybe they'll show a new trailer. I'm assuming a trailer. They show gameplay. I don't think they'll do that again. So I think we'll just get a trailer. Uh, I think that one's confirmed. Uh, Dwayne Johnson will be there. So The Rock, our boy. Um, I was hoping that he would talk about the movie video game that he's working on. Because supposedly he's doing a movie video game. He said earlier this year, I remember. And uh, But that doesn't look like it's the case. I think it's going to be Fortnite. Because, of course, they had the, found, the foundation thing. That's his character. But... Um, the new uh collision event and stuff so and his character was featured in there so i have a feeling he's just gonna show up for that uh which is cool with me hey I, I like the fortnite stuff so you know i'm good with that uh so yeah fortnite will be there that's the game but I, i'm hoping maybe dwayne johnson will see like hey here's a teaser for my hey hey i work all, all day that's all i do is work um put in the grind before i'm dead uh he'll say that but uh oh maybe it'll be spy hunter he's doing spy hunter finally I just spit everywhere. You didn't see that. Anyway, uh, Callisto Protocol, they already confirmed that we're going to get a gameplay demo, which I'm actually super excited about because uh, it'll probably be one of the last times I see the game because there's no way in hell I'm playing it. So, because I'm a little pussy. <laughs> no, I'll play it. Anyway, I'm just a little bitch about 
all horror games. But uh, Callisto Protocol, pretty sure that's going to happen. Oh, not actually, not 100% sure it's going to happen. Uh, they just showed this. Keeley showed a behind the scenes thing for like for this. Not behind the scenes. It, it, it was a, a wallpaper for this. And he just showed like a video of it which was weird uh and it was one piece odyssey so we're probably gonna get a look at that game which i'm not a big one piece guy but what i saw actually looked pretty good visually looked awesome and i think it's gonna be like a turn-based like open world rpg so i mean with the title odyssey you better um so that's kind of cool say so, hey, um there you go uh and then i i'm pretty sure we have this confirmed we're gonna get a new look at cuphead the delicious last course dlc um which hey this is the year of cuphead we got new cuphead content in form of show and game shit maybe we're gonna get that movie no anyway no live action movie dwayne johnson that's who he's gonna play anyway he's gonna play Mugman. he's not even gonna play cuphead cuphead will be kevin hart <laughs> i just envisioned the entire movie in my head anyway so you had to have been there to find that funny anyway cuphead dlc that's what's called the delicious last course for people that still don't get it um one piece odyssey and uh, that's it so that's all the stuff i'm pretty sure or not pretty sure 95 percent sure or 100 percent sure we're gonna see so now let's get into some predictions actual prediction i'll put a, a timestamp right here now you into the crazy predictions crazy predictions i got a list of them now i wrote a lot of this stuff before keely came out and said uh temper expectations is going to be focused mainly on stuff you've already seen um that doesn't mean we're not gonna get some surprises mm -hmm. mm. oh you sneaky little fucker you think you're not gonna you're gonna get one old bio on old gore boy you fuckers you're not you're not you're not Anyway, so I'm going to start off with something big. And you're probably going to like, wait, Gore, wouldn't they have they've shown this at the state of play? Shut up, smack. You don't know anything. Okay, Half-Life Alex PSVR 2. They're going to announce it. It is coming to PSVR 2. Um, and that means, uh, that means good for me because I get to finally play that game. Even though I heard that there was some horrifying moments in that game. Uh, the reason why I think it's going to be at the Keeley show is because Jeff Keeley actually had a big part in like the making of Half-Life Alex or something like that. I remember he did like a documentary and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if like Valve was like, yeah, I mean, it's going PSVR too. So maybe we should do state of, you know, there. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if, uh, um, Sony was like, yeah, that's fine. Show it at there. Whatever. We, you know, we have, we have plenty of stuff and that's a big thing for your thing. So I wouldn't be surprised that happens. So, you know what? I'm going to say it, it will. I'm gonna say well. All right, next. All right, this one, this one's probably not gonna happen. But uh, we have yet to see a trailer, and this is another movie thing. So, um, a movie video game adaptation, uh, a video game to movie adaptation, I should say. Uh, we have yet to see anything for the Borderlands movie. So I thought it'd be kind of cool, just like with the Sonic the Hedgehog two movie that came out with the Game Awards. You showed the trailer there. It would be kind of cool. Maybe the Borderlands movie trailer would have came out, but I don't think it's gonna happen. They would have hyped it up at this point. Um, especially Gearbox, shit, they would have definitely hyped up, but it might, uh, it might still happen, maybe a behind the scenes thing, I don't know, um, I guess, I guess it could still happen, uh, one thing I really want, and this is, this is, I think is gonna happen, because I feel like every Keeley event, uh, besides maybe the Game Awards, no, I think the Game Awards had one too, uh, I want to see a new trailer for Doke V, Doke V, does everyone remember this game? Of course you do, that's a, that's a weird ass looking game, it's like, you're just like going around and stuff, and you have monsters and stuff, and you're kind of like hanging out, and the graphics look amazing, uh, I want to see another weird trailer, because so far, I'm, I'm vibing with this game, oh, I'm vibing, it looks great, I'm excited for it, uh, so I hope we get a new trailer for that, this is gonna happen, it's gonna happen here, it's gonna happen somewhere, it has to, it's been too long, it's been three years since their last game, over three years at this point. Technically, they released a bunch of DLC, but still, we're not counting that. But screw that. Get it out of here. New NetherRealm game will be announced tomorrow. It, it has to be. At least one big thing was going to announce, be announced tomorrow. Like, I, Jeff Keighley's playing this whole, like, oh, 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 don't expect too many big things. Oh. All right. If, if I wasn't supposed to expect too many big things, why'd you put the fucking thing in IMAX? Does anybody know that the Summer Game Fest, you can actually go to a theater at 2 p.m.? eastern or whatever time and see the shit in imax well i mean i mean, don't get me wrong some of this gameplay would be cool in, in 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 you know whatever but like a theater experience yo 
fucking big reactions come on there has to be some big reaction moments and i'm sure the gameplay will and some of the trailers for like stuff that has been maybe long dormant or whatever oh yo deep down's coming back anyway new nether realm game i think that'll be a big thing what is it gonna be will it just be mortal kombat 12 which i, th- I heard some rumors about them just going straight to mortal kombat 12 um will it be injustice 3 that'd be that'd be dope i think that would make sense especially with all the dc stuff going on recently um when it comes to like you know you know we still have that flash movie which i don't know when the hell that's coming out now considering the news about what's his name <laughs> jesus christ but we have black adam of course we just had a trailer so hi you know nail that dc hype right now i thought the black adam trailer was good i, I don't know why everybody's hate, hating on it I, I it was fine i mean i never read the comics so maybe it makes more sense if you read the comics anyway Dude, when he sung that dude, I was like, I was getting Hancock vibes. Anyway, uh, I'm going to say there was a rumor about it being a Marvel fighting game. I think that might still be the case. You know, hey, Marvel's Capcom ain't going to be around anytime soon. But even though we do have that Capcom thing coming up, um, then why not? Why not? By the way, I will do predictions for that, too. I'll probably do that Sunday. So look forward to that. Um, Why not? Why not? So anyway, I'm going to say it's going to be anything. I don't care. Just another home game. Dragon Age Dreadwolf. I think this will... I think we'll get a new trailer. I feel like Keeley always has, like, the scoop on this game. I, I think there's been, what, two, three trailers at his uh, previous events. Um, the reveal happened at the Game Awards, and I think a trailer just happened a few months ago, right? Or was it 2020? That might have been 2020. Um, I still have yet to play Inquisition, so I don't really know who the Dreadwolf really is. I know who he is. I've seen his character, and I've, I, I think I've met him in the game because I never... I played Dragon Age Inquisition. I never finished it is what I meant. Um, when, usually when I say I haven't played a game, I mean I haven't finished it. Um, or, I, or I mean I haven't played it. I should probably specify because it gets confusing. But uh, yeah, Dragon Age Dreadwolf, uh, I think it will be there. They just confirmed the title recently and I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a trailer. Maybe no gameplay. Maybe gameplay, but it will be like in, in the trailer, you know. It won't be like a demo. Um, and then it'll come out next year. Especially since there's no EA press conference this year. I mean, they, they have to reveal it somewhere, right? And it's supposed to come out next year, I think. I think I think they kind of confirmed that recently. It's definitely not coming out this year. But I could see it next year for sure. Anyway, uh, next year it would have been almost 10 years since it, the last Dragon Age game. I want everybody to realize. Dragon Age Inquisition came out 2014. Next year it would have been 9 years. That's fucking insane. Like, <sighs> we need to get more people... To work on other games like if bioware can't do it get somebody else that's talented to do it i don't i don't care like luckily i'm not a dragon age guy you know i i, I really like dragon age 2 i played dragon age. i'm no i'm that one fucking guy that oh has only played dragon age 2 anyway i liked it a lot um not that i didn't like dragon age origins i just never really got into it uh next i think this is definitely gonna happen they're gonna show some multiverses uh multiverses hype is pretty high right now and i think they're gonna show some new characters i think it's gonna be some of the characters that have been leaked uh i only got a couple spoiled i'm not gonna name them here just in case people haven't been spoiled um but i saw a couple and i wouldn't be surprised if those couple were announced at the game awards you might as well because the game officially comes out well not officially i guess it's an open beta the open beta comes out next month i think right july and uh, I'm sure it's not going to have all the characters that are supposed to be in there, but uh, it's going to have some people in there, at least. So I wouldn't be surprised if they announced... Or maybe they show off Iron Giant, you know, because they did show him in the reveal trailer. And I don't think he was in the alpha that came out. So uh, multiverses. Uh, next, uh, I think this is going to happen, because I don't think Ubisoft's going to do anything until maybe a little too late. And I think this game could be shown here. I'm going to say Avatar frontiers of pandora or, yeah it's called frontiers of pandora the game that got announced last year which i think people have kind of forgotten about but i've been thinking about it recently because I'm, I'm getting on the avatar hype train again you know i i always liked avatar and when i heard avatar 2 was coming you know 45 years ago i was excited you know when i was a wee lad you know i'm a, I'm a grown man now you know i'm 105 years old i'm a grown man so i i look pretty good for 105 i must say but uh yeah, so I think it's going to be there. I think it's, there's going to be a new avatar, some some new trailer, maybe some in-game stuff. And then if Ubisoft does a thing, they could show it again. Because Ubisoft, fuck, remember last year? They showed Far Cry 6 at like seven events. I swear to God, it was at the Capcom thing. I was like, why the fuck is this here? <laughs> no, that's not true. But it was at the uh, Xbox thing. It was at the um, the uh, the summer, the Keeley event. It was at their own thing uh i swear it was at somewhere else i swear it was 
but uh, it, it, it was at least in three places. That's that's enough. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm sure Avatar will be there. Well, I don't know if I'm sure, but I hope. Because uh, I want to see it. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, this one, I'm fucking fingers crossed, dick crossed. I don't know what's crossed with, but it's crossed. Um, Alan Wake 2. We got, the, of course, a reveal a few months ago. It's coming next year. I want to see something. I want to see something. Give me... Mm, morsels of info i want something so if it's not gonna be here maybe it'll be at xbox but i put it here because keely of course got the exclusive reveal a few months ago uh and uh i have a feeling it's gonna be some somewhere in the next couple months we're gonna see something but i do think i could be wrong i'm pretty sure remedy recently said they're not gonna show anything for a little while so that probably did that dives right there but i want to put it on there just in case they do have a surprise like hey, here goes a cg trailer you know what i mean um so who knows this i think is definitely going to be here because it's been since 2020 since we sent, seen this game i want to say and that is arc 2 baby with vin diesel dwayne johnson and vin diesel on the same stage they're gonna be there and it's gonna it's gonna get awkward <laughs> <laughs> someone's gonna get punched someone's gonna get fucked up and i'm just gonna say it his name rhymes with bin heasel bin weasel <laughs> dead weasel dead i am dead that's what he's gonna say in the next marvel movie Dwayne johnson's gonna pile drive him into a grave he's gonna fold him half and break him on his knee <laughs> bin diesel ain't shit he looks like a mushy pile of mashed potatoes he's gonna get fucked up Dwayne johnson's gonna fuck him up He's getting destroyed. You're gonna die. Anyway, oh, I lagged there for a second. Anyway, whenever I turn, whenever my like computer actually like turns off, like the monitor, the the expo just says, "Oh, I guess me die too." All right, so it probably lagged there. That probably added to the bit there. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Arc Two. I think it'll be there. Uh, I'm not like super hyped for it. Um, I know there is a Netflix show, so maybe that'll be here. I, I doubt it. But uh, maybe I could see it like uh, if they have an art trailer for Arc 2. They'll be like, oh, oh, and here's a quick peek at the Arc animated series um, starring Vin Diesel. I'm pretty sure that's true. I think Vin Diesel is in that. Um, so I think that's going to be there. Um, and it, Oh, is that it? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I skipped the thing because I wanted to save it for later. I actually skipped two things. One, one thing, it's not going to happen. I, I put Silent Hill here just, just so I can mention it. Just want to mention it real quick. Silent Hill. If it happens, remember your boy mentioned it and hoped for it and predicted it in some small way. All right. Speaking of Silent Hill, before we get to this one, I do want to say there's going to be a lot of other stuff, obviously. There's going to be a lot of indie stuff. A lot of stuff I said were big things, but I, I hope we see stuff like uh, Somerville, which is an Xbox exclusive. So that's probably going to be at the Xbox showcase. So I should actually write that down. Um, and I want to see some cool stuff like Replaced was also an Xbox thing. And that just got moved to 2023, I think. So I hope we see that. There's a bunch of indie games I would like to see. Um, but uh, And I would also like to just see new ones, new indie games. I like indie games. They're great. So, uh, But it's hard to really predict an indie game when they're indie and you don't know anything about them until they get announced. You know what I mean? So I can't really predict them. All right, so last thing, and it might be the last thing they show if, if it happens. There is a rumor about a new Hideo Kojima game. That's all I'm going to say. I, I don't even know anything else, but even if I did, I wouldn't say anything else because I feel like even mentioning this is a spoiler. There's a rumor, and this is a rumor, and you know how rumors in Kojima, you know, abandoned, which is still a Silent Hill game. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, 100%. I'm going to continue with the bit. Uh, the abandoned is, a, is Silent Hill was the Morbius of its day. I just want to say. Um, all right. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to say uh, it's going to happen here. Because you know how Kojima and freaking Hedi, I mean, Hedi, that's him. Uh, Kojima and Keeley, you know, they got K's in their last name. So that means they're friends. Uh, so, yeah, I think they're, uh, it's going to happen. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. I don't even want to mention what it is, even though I don't know what it is. <laughs> i i know the genre that's the only thing i know um i didn't look into it i just saw a, a title that said rumored hideo kojima game blah 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 i'm not gonna say anything else because the only the only other thing i know is the genre that's it nothing else and i'm hyped i hope we see it so 
there you go. That is my predictions for the show. Um, I guess we could rattle them off real quick for things I'm pretty sure are definitely happening 100%. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, we already know that's definitely happening. Uh, Turtles, I think that, that'll be there. Gotham Knights, uh, Fortnite with Dwayne Johnson, Callisto Protocol, Cuphead Delicious Last Course, One Piece Odyssey. I'm sure there's other things I missed, but I, that's all I put. Uh, I'm sure we'll see, like, I don't know, Madden. Uh, no. They spend 30 minutes on Madden. I'm going to fucking do a backflip into a noose. Uh, <laughs> Half-Life Alex, PSVR 2, I think it might happen. Uh, Kojima's rumored game, Borderlands movie trailer, question mark. I put uh, Doki V new trailer, new Nether Realm game, Dragon Age Dreadwolf, uh, Multiverses, new characters revealed. Uh, I put Silent Hill, Silent Hill, yeah. uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora gameplay, uh, Alan Wake 2, maybe a CG trailer, uh, Arc 2, and that's it. So, not too many predictions, but it's a little hard to predict these things. So, I just wanted to get some of the bomber, the bomber ones, the bomb ones in there, you know, big ones, um, that I think could happen. Uh, so, there you go. That is that. That is my predictions for the Summer Game Fest kickoff thingy for 2022. Uh, that is that. And I hope you enjoyed the predictions. And if you didn't, sorry. Maybe next time I'll do better. I'm sorry, you fucker.